Today I fucked up by wearing a cum rag to work. I'm on the management team of a fancy restaurant that pulls in most of its business from the Saturday to Sunday brunch crowd. Long lines and mimosas are the mo. I'm typically there by 6am to make sure everything is running smoothly by the time we open at 7, which means my alarm is going off around 5am. Groggy and stumbling in the darkness I opened my closet and chose a shirt that I hadn't worn in quite some time, a grey striped polo. I like to look nice but comfort is a big factor in choosing my work attire as I'm running around helping everyone for the next 8 to 10 hours. A little after 6am I'm checking the bathrooms and notice a stain on my shirt in the mirror. As soon as I touched it my stomach sank. It was right in the center of my belly, all white and crusty, a dried, stiff cum stain. I immediately start to rub water on it hoping to diminish the evidence of my juvenile perversion. It seemed to be working, until I saw the rest of them. I counted maybe 5 or 6 massive loads on the front. I god forbid I look at the other side. I now intimately knew how Alfred Molina's character felt in the opening scene of Raiders of the Lost Ark when he is paralyzed with fear at the sight of a single tarantula until Indiana points out the swarm on his back. It was too late to run home since the first tower is critical in opening properly so I ran out to my truck where I usually have one or two business casual shirts. But all I had were a ratty t-shirt that my girlfriend had recently used to blow her nose, bearing stains not unlike the one I was wearing, a hoodie, and an Armani wool sweater. Alas! The wool sweater it was. The drip was real and it won me some compliments, however, 8 hours of physical labor don't mix well with an itchy hot wool sweater, especially since Texas is back up in the 80s. Having nearly passed out a few times was a small price to pay for avoiding the humiliation of looking like I was the star of a book arcade the night before. Too long didn't read, I unwittingly wore a shirt to work that I had previously used as a cum rag. I ended up wearing a wool sweater the rest of day and almost passing out from exhaustion. You and your girlfriend need to buy paper towels like yesterday. And if you do insist on using clothes to void your bodily fluids into, fucking wash them. Rank. Dude, get a fucking towel. Quit nutting in shirts. Your girlfriend blew her nose in a t-shirt. We're animals. The thought that it was in your closet and dirty is deeply disturbing. I moved recently so I just I just hung up all my shirts without inspecting them. History is full of men who have regretted where they came. It usually involves alimony and or child support. Instead you are just a walking biohazard in the food industry. Today I fucked up by sending the kiss emoji to my boss. This just happened. I am shadowing a project at work, and due to my current schedule I haven't been able to join the calls for a few weeks. So I sent my boss a Teams message that said sorry I haven't been a part of these project calls, I have been super busy on this other project. She asked if I wanted to just be removed from the chat so it would stop alerting me. I said no, you can keep me in the chat. I am still reading everything I just can't interrupt interact and this is where I made my mistake. I am an old school texter. So I hand type my emojis. So smile or frown and for crying I use. So I sent and went about my morning. My boss messages me going keysy face. I say, huh? What are you talking about? I then realize my mistake and go into damage control mode. In teams, immediately creates the kiss face. So I sent her, kiss face backslash. I meant cry face. My emoji game is not good. Thankfully she has a great sense of humor and found the whole scenario hilarious. But I think I'm going to go to the Winchester, have a bind and wait for all of this to blow over. Too long didn't read, tried to send cry emoji to my boss and it sent kiss emoji. This is why emojis have no business in business. Oh, man. I feel you. Almost lost a friendship with one of my favorite male friends because of an emoji mishap. We used to text a lot, like you do. Nothing inappropriate at all. Except every now and then if I was taking the piss or teasing him for being a vain fashionista, I'd add a goofy face emoji afterwards. Except it turns out the emoji I thought was goofy tongue out silly, hungry face, was actually showing up as tongue out thirsty, sneering face, 
for him. Twife eventually saw and got the wrong idea and was pissed. Edit the emojis I have listed here are not what they looked like in the conversation. They look different in different programs, this was on Facebook Messenger. I had it on computer and he had the app and the tongue out emoji I was using did end up looking thirsty af on his end, but still relatively normal on mine. I hate emojis since I'm always afraid I'll use the wrong one. I need a cheat sheet. There are too many that are the same but mean different things. I had no idea that those meant what you said they did. Me. The goofy tongue out silly one looks like that food looks yummy and the other one looks like someone is just playfully sticking out their tongue. Yet another reason why Teams is a piece of shit, smiley face. If she turns up at the Winchester, your luck could be in! Exclamation mark. Three weeks from now, after getting a raise, you won't be counting this as a FU. Today I fucked up by thinking my wife was asking for sex. This happened hours ago, still happening to be honest. My wife was doing groceries when she texted me earlier today, the conversation was roughly the following. Wife, so, it's International Women's Day, right? Eyes. Me, yes. W, eyes. W, funny sticker backslash. M, lol. What do you want? W, funny sticker backslash. W, backslash funny sticker backslash. M, lol. W, lol. M, come back. Now, I gotta say that I'm going through some lack of hormone lately and my energy is not the same as it used to be. So I have been testing taking some pills to restore my sex drive. When I'm feeling and refreshed I don't use them. But when I'm tired from work or just not feeling great I try and compare how it's like with and without. Anyway, I figured she would still take roughly 20 minutes to get back so maybe it would be a nice women's day surprise to have me ready for her once she was back. So I go to my hidden container and take a magic pill. Timing was perfect and she was back by the time the pill started to kick in. Tell her to come by the couch and start some mating rituals. At this point the pill was definitely making its thing and I was ready to give give my girl some good time. Except she wasn't ready for it. She says so. I'd love to have it but I'm on those days. So here I am, with an extended boner for who knows still how long. Too long didn't read, wife was being funny over text. I thought she wanted to copulate and took some pills. She was on period and I now have a lonely boner. What happened to a blowjob? It happened but when you're on a pill it takes longer until the effect goes away. On a more serious note, if it lasts that long, can doctor prescribe slightly lower dose? Pretty sure that can make things worse. Good luck. We are trying the right balance. The first doctor prescribed a certain dose, then the next doctor said it should be higher. This one lasts on average 2-ish hours more or less depending on the day. I also don't take it often cause I'm afraid my body becomes conditioned to having it. Thanks. Red wings. I wouldn't mind but she is not comfortable having on her period. When the red river's flowing, take the dirt road home. Lol that road is blocked, do not enter sign. If your erection lasts for more than 4 hours seek medical attention. No no if your erection lasts for more than 4 hours tell a friend. May as well show off, don't invite them over to join you though.